Welcome to Arabesque Agenda, the show that will let you know all the fun, exciting, inspiring and interesting events that are coming up in the arts and culture life of London and the Middle East. First up, let's take a look at what's on in London town. A series of short films will be showing at the BFI surrounding the eminent topic of dictatorships. Two films by Algerian Malik Ben Smile, Tunisian Sadri Jamiles at the beginning, and profiling the Al Aram newspaper building where Mubarak's image was created and communicated is done by the film Crop by Egyptian directors Moran Omara and Joanna Domki. The films will show at the BFI in South Bank on Sunday, 20th of April, and you can click on to bfi.org.uk for tickets and information. Here's a little sneak peek from the film Crop. As a photojournalist, but most of all as Egyptians, we knew about the situation in the country. There were a lot of protests since 2006, but none of them were covered in the official media. I was following the 18 days of the revolution from my bed in the hospital. I got delivered to Ahram every day and there was nothing about the proceeding on Tahrir Square on the front page ever. Next to me there was laying a young man. He was constantly sending and receiving messages, tweets, images and videos that were forwarded and commented. It felt like people were fighting the images that had betrayed them for so long. It was the source of understanding of our condition, of our life, and of what we want, and of who we are. The dazzling Tunisian vocalist and oud player Daffer Youssef will make the UK premiere of his latest album together with the London Symphonic Orchestra, blending his music with the spiritual traditional quality of Sufi and Estonian composer Arvo Pärt's Third Symphony. Conducted by Estonian-American Christian Jarvi, this celebration of haunting dramatic music that will take you and make you shiver will take place at the Barbican Centre on Thursday, 24th of April. For more information, go to lso.co.uk. You do not want to miss this once-in-a-blue-moon experience of his fantastic voice. Finally, the Hayward Gallery Art Space in the South Bank Center presents a selection of works from Iraqi-born artist Janani Al-Ani. Working with photography, film and video, she has an interest in the landscape of the Middle East, its archaeology and its visual representation in the West through the technology of modern warfare. The exhibition is on until Sunday the 11th of May and you can catch more information by clicking on to southbankcenter.co.uk. Now, let's take a look and what's on in the Middle East. One of the most famous Russian sopranos of her generation, Julia Novikova, will be spellbinding audiences in Dubai. The singer, famous for creating a great success of her version of the character of Gilda in the opera Rigoletto, where she sang with Placido Domingo, has won several awards and performed in all of the major opera houses around the globe. She will be performing on Friday, 25th of April at the absolutely mesmerizing venue, the Royal Ballroom of the one and only Royal Mirage in Dubai. So dress up, feel fabulous and grab a ticket for this fancy occasion at mpremiere.com. In the breathtakingly beautiful Bahrain National Museum, the fantastic exhibition that showcases the art of the book from the Ottoman era will be on display. Held in collaboration with the Sakip Sabanachi Museum in Istanbul, the exhibition features intricate examples from the museum's collection, considered to be among the finest of its kind. Displays include rare Qurans, prayer books, calligraphy, landscapes and illuminated manuscripts by leading artists working under the patronage of Ottoman sultans from the 
the 16th to early 20th century. The exhibition is currently on and will be on display until Sunday 13th of April. You can find more information about this exhibition on springofculture.org. Now let's take a look at who's the artist of the week. And ladies and gentlemen, our artist of the week is Palestinian-American, extremely funny writer, actor, comedian Jennifer Jaje, who with her one-woman show, I Heart Hamas, has taken the world by storm and it is in its fifth year of touring the globe. This funny woman has used her own experience and turned the prejudiced views of a Middle Eastern woman upside down. With her entertaining comments on life events and her hilarious stories, she has broken down walls, crushed stereotypes, and bridged the gap between the Middle East and West culture, something that is very much our kind of cup of tea in Levant. Therefore, we have crowned her the Artist of the Week, and we hope she continues to bring people closer together through laughter. Hey, uh, Jaja. Kind of a kind of a cool name. <laughs> it's kind of unusual. You know, uh, a couple of us were talking and we were just, you know, we were wondering like, what kind of name is Jaja? Palestinian. Oh, whoa. You're not like uh, religious, are you? Oh. I mean, you it it's cool if you are. You know, we're equal opportunity here. We don't have a problem with that. You you know, last month we hired a Persian. Yeah, is Sarah down in HR? Yeah, yeah, you might want to say hi to her when you're down there. I bet you two have a lot in common, you know, considering you're both, uh, well, you know, you're both, uh, well, yeah. And, anyway, uh, so we're, we're cool, right, Jaja? Yeah, well, welcome aboard. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope your diary will allow you to visit one of these wonderful works and that you will have a splendid evening. See you next week for more tips on where to see the best events from the Middle East and North African communities right here in the UK and in the Middle East. Till then, take good care. <laughs>